I'm Jamie, that's Dave, that's Heath. And this one is brought to us by Mr. Heath Cummings. So what we typically tend to do is we'll sign games for everybody and they give you an injury to monitor, a play to use in terms of a start sit, DFS play, and a prop to play. So we'll show you this fun graphic that we put together, and here's the stuff from Heath. So the injuries that we're keeping an eye on, clearly Gabe Davis and J.K. Dobbins, uh, Dawson Knox as well, you want to keep an eye on his back injury, but Davis hopefully will be out there and good to go. Uh, the start sit play is to sit J.K. Dobbins this week, the DFS play is Lamar Jackson, and the prop to play is Lamar Jackson over one and a half passing touchdowns, and the odds we're giving you here are from Caesars Sportsbook. So, Heath, I want to ask you about, uh, in regards kind of to Gabe Davis. So we know we're starting Stephon Diggs. He's a must-start guy. But after Diggs, rank the receivers for me. Davis, Rashad Bateman, Isaiah McKenzie, David, Devin DuVernay. Is there any of them that are definitely worth starting, assuming they're all healthy? Yeah, I mean, the, the assuming they're all healthy is doing a lot of work because we didn't, weren't sure how healthy Gabe Davis was going into last week. There were some practice videos that showed him limping around. Then he went out and played 100% of the snaps and didn't really do that do much for fantasy purposes. I would say that Davis is a high-end number three wide receiver if he plays. If not, Bateman would be the next best wide receiver, a low-end number three. Both of them kind of similar. It's just that you expect six or seven targets for Bateman. It might be four or five, or six or seven for Davis. It might be four or five for Bateman. Isaiah McKenzie gets a big boost if there's no Gabe Davis and would move into that boom bust number three wide receiver right wide receiver territory. Yep, and, and we'll keep an eye on again the injury status of Gabe Davis. Hopefully we'll give you an update before the end of the show. But just an unbelievable matchup if he is able to go out there because of that Baltimore secondary. Uh Dave, when you look at Devin Singletary coming off his best game of the season, they finally involved him in the passing game. Now granted Josh Allen threw the ball sixty three times, but eleven targets, nine catches, seventy eight yards and a touchdown. Still only getting single digits and carries though. This is a matchup that I don't know if you have to fear as much anymore because Michael Pierce is gone with the bicep injury. Yeah. Is it now time to buy into Devin Singletary? I don't think so because of, of all those catches he had, only two were design plays where Allen meant to throw to Singletary before scanning downfield to anybody else. And I don't think Allen's going to be under that much pressure. I think this is a very different Ravens defense than what we're accustomed to seeing. And that makes me nervous to trust him, especially since he had 10 or fewer touches in weeks one or two. And the Bills are still throwing the ball over 66% of the time. I do not see Devin Singletary suddenly becoming their third or fourth option in the passing. Game. But if he does, this could be a great opportunity to buy low on Devin Singletary, who's probably still cheap on somebody's roster. So if you want to maybe see if the guy that we saw at the end of last season starts to reappear a little bit more and pushes Zach Moss and James Cook to the side. Maybe. not. It, you got to be cheap. It's definitely got to be a cheap uh, trade situation. But... Uh, if last week was a sign of things to come, could be some good things ahead for there Denzel are there. probably fantasy managers that have Singletary on their bench and they need a receiver. Could be St. Brown yep. or Michael Thomas. Josh give Palmer. Him, if you have Josh Palmer on your bench, you might be able to make that but happen. That's what I'm saying. Like if some, like Heath sent me a trade offer because he's in a desperate situation, and so uh, I'm not saying we're, we're trading Josh Palmer for uh, for for Devin Singletary, but you know some people are 0 three and looking to you know try and do what they got to do, and you might be able to pull something like that. Off.